Okay, hey, Keith Arrington here. I um, want to go a little overview here from the last video I put out. Uh, uh, I may have said in that video uh, that um, I'm going to be making some changes. Uh, I am in ham radio now, so ham radio has been added to some of my hobbies and stuff I do here uh, in my my shack, as they call it in ham terms. <laughs> uh, I also do videos up here. I have a green screen back here in the back and I can do video productions and what have you. Um, today I'm doing some testing. I, ha I have added this wall right here. This wall is all new up here. Uh, before I had a horizontal, uh, I had a, the desk set against that back wall and I was horizontally mounted here because of the geometry and behind this wall here that I just put up with the door over here, uh, there's a, another door wall with storage and another cabinet over here in the back that totally blocked me being able to set my desk the way it is right now. And I needed this this way to, to accommodate everything. Um, so I think this is gonna be a good setup. I will be getting a, another ham radio that will be going in here. I'm going to a ham fest tomorrow. And uh, the ham fest tomorrow will hopefully we'll we'll be good and I'll be able to get another radio to set in here at a lesser price but we'll see how that works out being that I'm getting a ham radio now I'm going to be doing a lot more ham radio from a beginner's perspective so uh, those that are looking to get into ham radio I'm going to cover some good and bad of ham radio equipment um, things to do things not to do that I've found out to be the case uh, it all varies with your with your income and where you're at. I'm retired right now, so money is definitely tighter, and I have to spend my money more wisely. So that's kind of my goal as I purchase things for the shack uh, in the ham turn. And uh, uh, I'm going to be putting some things in here. I'm not going to get too crazy with, with ham radio at this point. I eventually get my general license, which I have my technician license now, and I'll be moving into general. General will open up a big window for frequencies and stuff that I can actually use. So my goal will be to get to that point. Uh, when, I don't know, so I'm gonna kinda gradually work into it. So I will be staying within my licensed range of radios. Now, if I get a good deal on an HF radio to, for, for later on for future stuff, at a good price, something I can listen to for the time being and kinda see what's going on in those frequencies, I may get one and um, and be ready for the general license when I actually take it, which, you know, it may, it may not be too far off. But along with radios, I have to change antennas. Right now I've got I've got one up on my roof, which is covers VHF, UHF bands, which is mostly technician uh, frequencies. And then I'm going to be putting a dipole probably in the attic right now. The dipole is going to also be tuned for those frequencies. Now... If I get into HF, I'll probably have to do a, di a dipole design outside somewhere off of trees and stuff, but I don't want to get too crazy with that. I don't, I don't want it to, I want it to be neat. I don't, I don't want it uh, looking kind of weird, you know what I mean? Um, I don't have that much land. I've got a 1.2 acres, which is enough probably to get it done. I have an outbuilding and stuff, so I can, I can probably make a lot of it happen back there, but then it requires a lot of cabling don't know if I'm ready to do that just yet, but it, it may come at some point. But if I can, if I can do what I can do in my attic, which I got a pretty good size attic up there to work upstairs here off the end of this bonus room, and uh, if I can, if I can get those frequencies covered with either an antenna tuner or something temporarily, then I can kind of get the job done until I decide which way I want to go with with an outdoor antenna of some sort, you know, to cover HF. Right now, I think I'm good to go. Um, I've got everything I need. I, I do have a few more construction things I got to do as far as bringing my cable into this room. I still have cable uh, in the old area uh, adjacent this wall, and uh, that that is going to. I'm going to have to. I got to cut me a, a hole here. I've got a plate that's going to go into the room, into the wall here. And this plate, of course, is for sheetrock. It just gives you a nice clean opening. And then I'll get a cover of some sort. The, the wires will come through, and the cover will will actually, uh, you know, make it look neat anyway. And it'll be here on my desk somewhere. And I can pull the the antenna cable in. And uh, 
I think I've got it all figured out. I also got all my my parts and stuff to build a dipole, and that should be a simple task uh, up in the attic. So um, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna have to make sure I get it tuned where I want to get it tuned. And of course, antenna tuner will will accommodate a lot of different things. And most of the radios you buy now, the newer radios, have antenna tuners built into them. They're limited somewhat, but I think I think it'll it'll be good just for tweaking and what have you. Uh, so, with that being said, we'll end this one here, this video here, and uh, please uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Watch my videos and give me a like. Um, hopefully, I can I can cover some things from a beginner's perspective. The, this ham radio is uh, it's a new adventure. I I've got a history of CB radio back in the six, late '60s and '70s, <clears throat> and. Uh, Ham and CB and ham radio, are, they're different in many ways. Uh, the, la the language, the type of way you communicate on them, and, and they're, they're different. So you, I've got a lot of old, bad habits and stuff from the old days. I've got to, you know, change. But, and of course, you know, um, there's, there's a lot, the whole, uh, the whole uh, mentality and stuff, I guess, of, of the folks that are on, ham compared to CB it's a it's it's quite a bit different it's more uh, rule rule driven I guess uh, in ham radio so uh, that is where I want to stay focused and hopefully we can we can grow together in my videos and I can I can kind of learn from from my mistakes to pass on to you guys so uh, we'll see how that goes but anyway uh, please subscribe uh, my license are uh, KQ4 FXD and that's a mouthful. So anyway, we'll we'll see you later. Have a great one.